Good morning. For once, we're going to do a video about something other than loop mesh. Um, take just a couple of seconds here and show you one way you can deal with uh, plosives that have been captured inadvertently with your audio track. Uh, plosive being that hard air burst you get off letters like P and T and F, where uh, the speaking of the word or singing of the lyric moves a lot of air. The air pushes against the diaphragm of the microphone, kind of bottoms it out, and you get that distinctive thump like this. Try that again. Some plosives can be repaired during editing through careful reshaping of the waveform. And I used to subscribe to the school of thought that if you recorded it that way, you were stuck with it. But there's a, a technique you can use to attack some of them. It's not 100%, but it works pretty good most of the time. And what we're going to use, this obviously we're doing this in Cubase. Um, you can do it right from the track inspector using the, uh, the handles on the audio clips. So let me shift gears and play this guitar loop for just a moment in order to demonstrate those the handle tools. So you highlight a clip, you get um, these, not pointing, like you can see what I'm pointing at. You get these uh, white handles in each of the corners, and you can use those to manipulate the waveform volume fade like this. You can use that to turn down the volume, obviously. And we set this to loop, sorry. Up. And really all your, this is just a different way to uh, get at the same functionality that moving the fader and the other controls would have. You can use the ones in the corner to, to crop the audio as well. The waveform's still there, it's just being hidden. So what we're going to do is get back to this um, thumpy narrative track and edit out those plosives using that same those same tools. So if I zoom in a little bit here, this uh, symbol, this shape, wave shape, is distinctive of a plosive. And you can, after a, hours and hours of looking at these things, you can spot them everywhere they, they crop up. There's a I think of it as an S form, but whatever you want to call this, that signature appears every time you've got a plosive or a dog that wants to leave the studio. What we're going to do is take the scissor tool, and we're going to cut this waveform just as close as we can to the beginning of that uh, waveform shape. Then back to the arrow tool, and using the fade-in handle, just going to drag that down to de-emphasize the, the plosive. Some plosives, not quite there, but close. And if you overdo this, you get sort of a lispy effect. Um, but even that's generally better than the thump from the uh, the mic. And as long as we're in here, I'm just going to knock these others down real quick. That's one for sure. That's why the dog is upset back here, because I'm making edits without listening to what I'm editing first. She knows that's a recipe for disaster. Very smart dog. Okay, almost done. And the, the very last one in this series was actually the letter F, which is uh, P is almost always your culprit, but this one is a that pronounced uh, down swale at the beginning is a telltale of a overblown letter F. So with those de-emphasized, oops, too far. Ah, see how it sounds now. Some plosives can be repaired during editing through careful reshaping of the waveform. The second one is still not quite there. Maybe just a little more. Some plosives can be repaired during editing through careful reshaping of the waveform. This one is still just, there's a little clunk in there still. Some plosives can be repaired during editing through careful reshaping of the waveform. And... We're just about there. Again, if you overdo this, you'll start to notice the, the fades a little bit, but generally if you've got other, if there's music going on around it or it's one isolated in a string of narration, the listener is never going to pick up on the fact. They certainly will notice the, the fix a lot less than they'll notice the original plosive. So for what it's worth, I hope that helps. Enjoy, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.